Hello everyone. So it's been a while since my last video and as you can probably see the recording area has changed quite a bit. I still have some work to do. I need to get some sound deadening foam and stuff to kind of reduce some of the echo here. But for now I decided that I wanted to do a video for you guys and since I have this big pile of mail I decided that it would be a mail goodies. So without further ado let's open up these packages. Okay, so first up here, let's do this big Amazon box. And you can see, hopefully, that we have a Noctua NHU-14 cooler and the little compatibility bracket for the Ryzen CPUs. So you may or may not be able to hear it, but in the background here there's quite a bit of noise from my new computer, and that is the stock heatsink on the CPU. It has to run at 3000 RPM and that makes it quite loud. So I plan on doing a video here about the thermals of this particular cooler. I'm going to compare it to the stock cooler that is on my Ryzen CPU right now, and hopefully it will make a big difference in noise. Let's open this up. This was a Amazon Warehouse Deals product, so it isn't brand new. Hopefully there's no damage to it or anything. Let's take a look. to be in pretty good condition. Nice shiny base plate here. There's no scratches that I can see so it looks looks good. Just check and make sure all the accessories are in the box. Bracket, yep. And in fact this has never been opened. So I probably figure it's either been damaged at the Amazon warehouse. The box was damaged and that's why it was on sale through Amazon warehouse deals or somebody bought it and didn't realize that it doesn't work with the Ryzen platform and then returned it. Luckily all you need to get it to work with the Ryzen platform is this little kit here. And that is just a different set of brackets for the CPU cooler. So we should be able to mount that without any issues at all. Time for the other stuff. Start with this. The first thing I have here is some PCBs. This is a little PCB way box. It's taped very well. Uh, I got this probably back in August. And these are my very first PCBs that I've ever had made. So let's see if we can get into this box nicely. First one here is some replacement PCBs for my PIR project. As you can see, it's a very small little <laughs> PCB. So I'm planning on moving my PIR project from all through hole components to all surface mount, or at least mostly surface mount. The connectors will still be through hole. Anyway, so this is the little PCB. It looks very nice. Don't see any issues with it. So this little tiny PCB here is a solar garden light PCB and this one is going to be using a surface mount LED that I found on AliExpress that is a color changing surface mount LED and hopefully all of the pitches and everything of the holes here are big enough for the components. These ones on the left here are looking a little small but we'll find out. Anyway this will be an interesting little project as well and I ordered 15 of these and I got 20 of them probably because they're so tiny. Package from AliExpress, it just says diodes on the bottom. So let's open it up. I'm fairly sure this is going to be the diodes, the LEDs. So it's two little rolls of LEDs. One is RGB slow flashing and one is RGB fast flashing. So these are for those solar light PCBs. Next up we've got another package. This one is 
marked as YX8018 by 100. Those are the little solar light controller chips that are used in a lot of generic solar lights. So those, of course, for the solar light project as well. I have way too many of those. This one just says integrated circuits on it and I don't remember what it is. LT1073 voltage regulator chip. I got a bunch of these. I think it's 10. So I needed these in order to get the 5 volts for my PIR project. A much bigger package here. Ah, it's trying to run away. This one says PCB boards, but I'm sure it's not that. <laughs> so this one is actually a bunch of 50 by 50 2 volt solar panels. It's 2 volt 160 milliamps. It actually is a lot nicer than I was expecting. It's got a couple dings in it. It shouldn't be an issue. But this will be for the top of the jar solar lights that I'm going to be making. So, that's looking good. Got a bunch of those. And finally we have another box and this one is a DigiKey box. This should theoretically be all of the rest of the components I need for my two projects. Okay, so what do we got here? Got a bunch of 100 picofarad, 100 volt ceramic capacitors, bypass capacitors. So you can see here that these are little tiny surface mount, gonna be fun to use. Next up we've got some shot key diodes. Fairly beefy diodes here. Those are also for my PIR project, I believe. Some more diodes. Same size by the looks of it. I don't know why I ordered two different types of diodes, but I'm sure I had a reason. And then we get to the resistors. Look, it's little tiny 0603 resistors. These are 47 kilo ohm resistors. I'm not sure which project these are for. I believe these are for the PIR project. Some more 805 capacitors. These ones are 10 microfarad. For six pin transistors, so it's two transistors in the same package. These are for my PIR project for sure. Big beefy surface mount inductors. They are very big, very tiny inductors. So these are the inductors for the solar light project. So for those little YX chips, they require a inductor and then of course the battery and solar panel and that is all they need in order to run. Then of course you have the LED and for that I believe I also added a capacitor just to prevent the LED from having issues. Here we've got some aluminum polymer caps. Here are our 100 ohm 0603 resistors. Again, absolutely tiny for the PIR project. Those are the current limiting resistors. So these are the bulk capacitors for the PIR project. So this is my pile of stuff. It's not a whole heck of a lot of stuff considering how much packaging there was, but this will give us a few videos to make. There'll be a video for this to test the CPU cooler and all of that with the installation of this into the Ryzen build. Unfortunately, this has no RGB, but I don't really care about that. And at some point I'm going to replace this fan on the outside here with a Noctua Chromax fan. One of the black ones, just because this isn't the nicest looking fan color. But hopefully this will reduce a bunch of the audio noise in the videos. 
And then we've got our little printed circuit boards. So these are going to be an interesting video to put together. And we'll take a closer look at them and how they're constructed. So this board is the one I'm most interested in and proud of from this batch of PCBs. It was an experiment to try and get this board down as small as I could. As you can see, this new board is roughly the same width, but it is a fraction of the length. So all of this is going to end up condensed down onto this little board. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the section below, or you can email them to me, or you can tweet them to me. If you want to get updates on what I'm doing and what's going on, then definitely follow me on Twitter. That is the place I post most often. If you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.